What's going on, Bass Kickers fans? John Newman here, here to share with you yet another one of my favorite baits that I happen to have with me right here on this wall full of stuff. And it'd be this guy right here, the Berkeley Havoc Jerk. Essentially, it's a soft plastic jerk bait, or a fluke as many of us like to call them. And here she is, the Jerk. Now, it gets its name, the Jerk, simply for one reason only, because it really is a jerk. If you got a bag of these, and your buddy's got a bag of another brand, and he ain't getting nothing, and you are, essentially, that's the Jerk. And it was designed by a Jerk, too. He said it himself, Mike Iconelli. He is the designer of this bait. Now, let's get into this bait itself and talk about why this thing is as good as I'm about to tell you it is, and about how much they tell you it is. One design feature, this tail right here, man, if you can see it, it's got that nice serrated tail with that little bean on the end of it. And what that's going to do is going to create a lot more action in this tail. For you guys that fish flukes a lot and haven't used these yet, you know how you want that tail to just kind of whip back and forth when you're walking the dog with it, when you're jerking this thing. And it just kind of just, it's like pretty much fishing one of those super spooks without the hooks. That's the best way I can explain it to you. It has no action in the tail. This guy, you can create that same momentum and have that tail just going nuts. The sporadic movement this tail has, you're definitely going to enjoy it. And it's going to put a lot more fish in the boat, I promise you. And another thing about this bait, I can fish this bait in a way that I just wasn't getting the reactions and the bites in the way that I fished it. And that is to fish this thing sporadically. Because what I mean by that is most people fish this the, the casual way, or more or less, the dead fish way, meaning that this fish is about near death, it's dying, it's injured. And when you fish it, it's just, you jerk it, and just kind of let it sit, jerk it, and let it sit. You can get that with any bait, but the one thing that I get with this bait is being able to fish it like a minnow in distress, because a minnow in distress is not going to sit there dead sticking it. No, this thing's going to be darting, gone. And I get that action that I want with this tail by fishing it that way. Because a minnow in distress is going to take right off. And the bass love that. The bass want to chase that sucker because to them that's a meal ticket. And that's what you get from this. Because when you fish this, you're getting that sporadic movement like a minnow would naturally. And that tail is going right along with it with that movement. And it looks so natural and that's why I love this bait. I highly recommend it guys. And on top of that, you can get a bag of 10 of these for a great price. Ten dollars? No. More like two dollars. Because there's some out there that are ten dollars. Well this guy is two ninety nine standard Berkeley Havoc price. Unfortunately though, the last store that I seen actually carry these was Dick's and they don't even have them anymore around my area. So if you can't find them in your local Bass Pro Shops, Gander Mountain, Herb Phillipson's, Dick's, Runnings, whichever store you got that sells baits or even your local bait shop, you can trust these guys right here to have them. Tackle Warehouse. They have them in every color. So, $2.99, 10 count. You can't go wrong, guys. But wait, before we stop, there actually is one thing I would like to tell you, to be honest. Sorry, Ike, but I'm going to tell you one thing about this bait that I've really, really gotten discouraged about is actually the part of it that makes it so great the tail. Sometimes when you're fishing this bait, unfortunately, the tail will get bitten off. And when that happens, the bait is left useless. But unfortunately for that, there's also a plus to it. It doesn't happen all the time. I've had one of these last me for 10 to 12 fish. I've had one of these last me for 1 to 2 fish. I've had one of these last me for 1 fish. 1 fish bit it, and half the thing was gone. And no, it wasn't anything with teeth, a pike, a walleye, a muskie. No, it was a bass. So... That's just with any bait. You know, soft plastic baits, some of them last longer than others. And some of them cost more than others. But for the price of these and the action you get, it's well worth that risk. So that's all I got for you guys tonight. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe to the page. And also take a look over at my Facebook page, Bass Kickers Outdoors. And check out some videos and some photos and whatnot that I post up on there. So take care, guys. Have a good night. Stay tuned for the next episode.